to another moving vlog. I just finished getting ready for the day and I'm about to go pick up Callie because she has been loving helping me organize and move all my stuff from my old house into my new house. She literally is the organization queen and I have loved having her over to help. It's been so much fun. I seriously love the process of moving. I mean, I don't love the logistics of it, but I love organizing and moving my things into a fresh space and it just feels like such a fresh start and I love it. So the things that we're mainly going to be focusing on today is organizing all of my bathroom stuff and then also my fidget toys. I just brought those over. I have yet to get a moving truck to move all of my bigger items from my old house, um, but I'll show you kind of what I have going on right now. So I have all of my most used fragrance mists and perfumes on this top shelf and then I have my skincare stuff on the middle shelf and then this is a mess down here. I need to organize this better, but I have lip balm. I have some of these Bath & Body Works hand sanitizers in here. I'm going to work on organizing this better today. Um, and then also I've got makeup in this first drawer, hair care in the second drawer, and then the third drawer I have extra makeup that I don't use on like a regular basis, but it's just like, you know, there if I need it. So I am going to organize that a little nicer later today. So Callie helped me out with a lot of this yesterday and then I kind of finished. Um, so we have a lot of my Bath & Body Works products over here. So like fragrance mists and Shimmer Fizz body mousses, triple moisture body creams. We have my Tree Hut sugar scrubs in the center and then more Bath & Body Works products like shower gels and lotions here. Um, I started putting my candles out, but there's so many more that I have to put away. And also I found out that I missed a couple bags of like Tree Huts and lotions and potions. I didn't even realize I missed them. I saw them last night before I went to bed. So I'll have to put those away. We have a lot to do. We're also going to finish organizing my new closet. I have to order more hangers so that everything matched nicely. Um, but anyway, I don't mean to be blabbering on and on and on. I'm going to go pick up Callie in one minute. But you guys, before we get started, I have a challenge for all of you watching. I wanna see if you guys can like, click subscribe, and turn on post notifications in just five seconds. I hope you guys are ready because here goes the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. If you guys were successfully able to complete the five second challenge that I want you to comment down below. Hmm, let me think. Okay, I want you to describe what your dream house would look like. What sort of rooms would it have? How many stories would it be? Um, would it have a pool, a trampoline? Let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, we are going to go pick up Callie and hopefully you guys find this video satisfying and interesting because I've been getting so many requests to post more moving vlogs. So that's what we're doing today. All right, let's go get Callie. All right, you guys, so I have Callie with me now, and we are taking all these new hangers upstairs to my closet because the closet's pretty much done, but there were just not enough hangers, so everything that wasn't hung before, we're going to get it hung up. Okay, I'm going to show you what everything looks like because I know in the last vlog, um, we did not have this much progress done, so I'm obsessed. Um, Callie really did an amazing, amazing, amazing job organizing my shoes. I mean, look at this. Everything fits so perfectly. So we have shoes here and then we have like my basic clothing. I have my whites and cream color tops here and it goes from like short sleeve to long sleeve. I'm gonna get the the packages. Okay, sounds good. And then we have like browns and grays and blacks, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, violet, and then pinks. We've got denim. This is all of my athletic wear and hoodies. Then we have some like jackets and sweaters. That's just my hamper. This needs hung. This belongs with athletic wear. And then as you can see, I have some like random piles of clothing on the floor. Those were the items that we didn't have enough hangers for. So I ordered some more clear hangers off of Amazon because I don't want any mismatching hangers. Um, this closet's too pretty to have like 
you know, a million colors going on. So over here on this side of the closet, we have white dresses, brown, black, red, green, all the colors. So it always starts off with neutrals and then it bleeds into color. And then of course we have skirts, but there's a ton, as you can see. And pants and like long pants over there. Yes, there's a ton of skirts that we still need to hang. And so Callie's opening the hanger boxes right now. But yeah, those are just sweatpants like Callie said. And then there are some shoes over here, but there's still room for more guys i'm gonna go grab the tripod and we'll kind of vlog ourselves putting things away i don't even know where i left the tripod i think i think the tripod is up on the very top floor or maybe not maybe it's in here yes okay it's in here i was hoping it wasn't gonna be on the tippy top floor because i did not feel like going all the way up there So guys, we decided that my denim skirts are going to go over here with the other denim things. So we've got jean jackets, overalls, and then of course jeans. So I'm debating if I should hang them up here or put them down here. I'm thinking I'm going to put them over here because there's this space. So I put them in order from like darkest to lightest. So I'm going to hang them up and we're going to see what this looks like. All right, guys. So all of the jean skirts are hung and I think that it looks so good. Wow. All right. That pile is shrinking pretty quickly. Callie is the hanger lady. So I think what would make the most sense is if you would just keep, you know, doing your thing over here with putting stuff on hangers and then I will what hang everything. The, what about the pile of clothes over yonder? Well, that's true. Okay, so it's not terrible. It's mostly workout stuff, but it all needs hung. So we bought some fresh white hangers like I had mentioned. So hopefully we only need one pack. I don't know. I mean, it's good to have extra because it's not like I'm never going to buy any more clothes. I'll just probably keep the extra hangers in there because, yeah, clearly I enjoy fashion. So I have a passion for fashion, if you will. <laughs> You look like you want to kill me. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get the tripod and you guys could help me do this, okay? Okay, these can just be folded and I'm going to put them with the athletic wear. No point in hanging those. What about this? Oh, okay. I think this is like a set. Yeah, this is a Lululemon. Oh, wait, no. I, t I remember taking back the top that I got though because it was like too matchy-matchy. Too matchy? How can too matchy-matchy? Well, I don't know. It just was. I enjoy like... A white top with like like right now I have a white top with this fun skirt I wouldn't like it if I had the same pattern shirt on with the skirt it's like too much these are also pink workout pants this is like all workout stuff oh I don't want these anymore these are like way too Ooh. big I, I know those boxes over there you guys um those are all things I'm getting rid of so Callie took some of it some of the items are so bad that we're literally going to keep them for Karen and she's gonna wear them for date night like, I don't know if you guys could see that leopard print skirt. I don't know whatever possessed me to buy this, but this is going to be Karen's. Um, I feel like you bought that in, like, 2020 when you're like, I'm going to try something different. Something and different. And never even touched it. Literally. Besides the day you bought it and put it in your closet. No, that's, like, actually what happened. And then you touch it, and then you were like, hmm, maybe I'll wear it someday. And that day just never came. Like, I, I don't think I actually ever wore that ever. Like, I'll, I'll see something. And Kayla, like, I've never put it on. Like, Kayla, I've known you for 10 years and I've never seen you wear this once. And it'll be like from 20, 23. And she's like, I'll wear it someday. I'm like, someday. Shit, I might wear it someday. She's like, ooh, that's ugly. I might wear it someday. And I'm like, Kayla, get me. Well, can anyone relate to that? Like, you know, it's sometimes it's just hard. Because you're like, well, what if this comes back into style? And cause that has happened to me. Yeah. You, okay, so I let you borrow, and I know you think you don't have this, but you definitely do. It was a black, long pants, like, romper thing. And I told you you could keep it, so that was my fault. But I was like, shoot, it's back in style. And I wanted it back. And now... <laughs> I don't think I have a that went through my whole entire closet like three months ago. You were the only person that I gave it to though. Because I literally told you you could keep it. You wore it one time when we went to a fancy dinner. It's fine. It's fine. But, like, that was my fault because I told you you could keep it. But, so. I know, I know the exact thing you're talking about. I don't think I have it though. Well, then it's lost in your house somewhere. Because I'm telling you, like, I specifically remember telling you you could have it and then. Really? 
Yes, like I promise, because I don't have it, and okay. no one else would. I mean, that means a ghost stole it. My point is if that's. I don't want to it. I will give it back. <laughs> okay. My point is the reason I was telling that story is because I'm afraid to get rid of things because things do come back into style, and I thought that is outdated. I will never wear that again. And then it came back into style. I'm like, shoot. And then yeah, so that's why I'm afraid to get rid of things. But I mean that skirt. I don't care if it's in style. I will just never wear that again. Anyways, why did I buy this? I, I was literally just about to say, I might wear it one day. <laughs> that illustrates my point. <laughs> is it athletic? It is. I remember thinking it was a bathing suit. I mean, it's actually, it's cute. Like it makes you look tan, but yeah, so. All right, guys, let's go hang this stuff up. All right, guys, so I was just thinking, all the skirts that are hung right here, I think Callie and I are going to actually move them up here because then there would be enough room for the rest of the ones that Callie just put hangers on. Um, and we could keep all the skirts in one area because otherwise, this is already pretty full over here and there's just a tiny bit of space. There you go, I fixed it. Awesome. I'm Bob the Builder over here. Bob the Builder. Can we fix it? Bob the Builder. Yes, we can! All right, guys, I'm just grabbing these things that I put on hangers. One second. Don't go anywhere. Nick Jr. will be right back. <laughs> okay, so we got to put these in rainbow order. Um, also, this needs a hanger. I'm obsessed with these little aligned tank tops from Altered State. They are literally the best thing ever, and I have them all kind of group together so where does navy fall into place oh wait we need to have it facing the same way i think this would go best right here i think that looks good and then this is so bright and fun we're gonna put this um you wore that i spot you from a mile 12 miles away it is incredibly bright yeah i think we're that in a snowstorm we're gonna put it here <laughs> we're that a snowstorm you said yeah because then i can spot you easily <laughs> You're funny. This little cheetah print top. This is cute. We're gonna put this over here with like the whites and grays. I've never wore this in my life. This is what Callie was talking about. See, it still has a tag on it. I think it's from Hollister. Okay, well, good. I'm gonna keep it then. I was with you when you got that, I think. You probably were. You're with me almost every time I go to the mall, actually. All right, this little periwinkle top can go right here. I'm just obsessed with the way this is turning out, you guys. Like, ah, it's so perfect. We have two black tops, and these are both long-sleeved. I think they will be best suited over here. And then this orange one. We're going to put him right there. There we go. And then this is like a little athletic wear hoodie. So we got to get a hanger for this. I wear this quite often. Actually, it needs wash. There's a stain on it. So I'm going to put that in the hamper. So Callie just got finished putting all the skirts on hangers. And so guys, we are going to kind of rearrange a few things. We're still going to keep the dresses here, but we're going to move the skirts over here. Is sweatpants? Yes. Okay. Let's move the sweatpants because we don't want to look sloppy. But basically there's more room here, you guys, and all the skirts can stay together. If we kept these here, then the skirts, the extra skirts would be there and there. And hopefully you get what we're saying. Me too. Um, me too. Me too. <laughs> Did we use all of the hangers? But one. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, there's this pack too. So, okay. Well, that's amazing. So now we have extra. Do you want to do this? Do you want to do it together? Should we divide and conquer or should we do like one thing at a time together? Or should just go together for the vlog. For the vlog. Okay. I like it. So guys, we're going to put you here and we're going to put this in time lapse and we'll show you the after results when we're done. goodness this was the best decision we've ever made <laughs> to swap where the skirts are so guys look all of the skirts are hung all the skirts were hung in the closet with care and hopes that our next mall shopping day soon would be there <laughs> okay 
So yeah. Let's put the extra hangers um, in this cupboard right here. Why is this random hoodie in here? We're just going to hang this up, girl. You told me to put it in there? Girl, did I? I probably had four brain cells left when I said that. So we're going to hang this with the rest of the hoodies. Um, oh, my God. We're pretty much done with this closet. I am going to take all the garbage out of it. And then, ooh, I was going to say we'll give you guys a closet tour, but I'm actually going to do that in a separate video, I think, because why not? <laughs> We're going to make it into something else. Um, This is strictly just going to be, like, organizing and moving. So it's, like, pretty much done, though. I mean, the only thing that I do want to do to, like, make this look really cool is I want to get some, like, little decor things to put on these shelves. Um, not today. No, not today. What is this? Oh, I gotta hang these up too, but we're pretty much done in here now and it feels amazing. So yeah, we're just gonna clean up some of these boxes and trash, like I said, and then we are going to move on to the bathroom stuff. We have a ton of bath and body work stuff to organize and makeup to organize. It's gonna be highly satisfying, so make sure you stay tuned. All right, guys, so I have a ton of bath and body work candles that we need to put away as well as tree huts. And I think, oh, never mind. I thought one of them exploded, it was just a shadow. Bag. A mystery bag. Do you actually not know what's in there? Oh, God. I think it's more shower gels and sprays. So, I thought I was done organizing up there, but apparently not. So, no. we have some brown boxes we could use to kind of make putting these upstairs a little easier. <gasps> Root beer float. I forgot I had that. Oh, my God. I need to smell it. Oh, my God. I love that one so much. I filled up my hamper with shirts that we use for our color versus color shopping challenge videos. So they're in the trunk of my car and I'm going to be hanging these up in a separate closet. I know which bedroom is going to be my filming room and that bedroom just so happens to have a closet. So we're going to hang up all of the color t-shirts in that closet. At my old house, I had a content closet. That's what I called it. And it had like Karen's outfit, these colored t-shirts, prank stuff, giveaway stuff, everything of that nature. So you guys could help me organize this and hang that and then we need to get Callie a box I think this one will do yeah she is so into organizing my body care so I'm gonna let her be in charge of that Alrighty, guys so we are in the future filming room um we're gonna obviously decorate this way more <sighs> I'm so winded right now gotta hang all that up this is the closet that I was referencing there's already a couple things in here um not much oh my god that's so nice that there's a light in the closet. So we actually have a really fun Crayola shopping challenge coming up and all the t-shirts just came in. I'll show you guys the brown one. We're filming it this upcoming Saturday. So yeah, there's gonna be 10 people participating. We have Karen stuff. This is just like a neon shirt that needs to be hung up. Um, oh, this is Karen's robe. What is this? I think this is my glitter queen shirt. Yeah, this is for if we do a challenge that involves like glitter or sparkle. All of these are just strictly for filming. Like you won't catch me wearing this as my regular attire. So let's see, is there anything else in here? Um, this Ulta bag just has giveaway stuff in it, but I'm going to dump out this hamper, you guys. Let me turn on the studio light so that you guys could see what I'm doing better. So I'm going to dump this out and I think all of this again is for filming I'm not entirely sure but whoa okay so there are some stuff at the bottom that I forgot about some stuff from Sephora these are all giveaway things so sometimes when I go live I have flash giveaways almost every time I go live I have flash giveaways and so sometimes when I'm out and about I like to pick up some fun little things to give away to you guys so you got some Sol de Janeiro, some Drunk Elephant, Summer Fridays, all kinds of stuff. So that's what that is. And I'm going to keep this stuff in the content closet for now because, again, I buy this stuff for giveaways. Oh, yeah, this is also for giveaway. Um, but look at all of these T-shirts. Yeah, I'm going to hang them up in rainbow order. Um, the only thing is I don't know if I'm going to have enough hangers. Kind of stinks, but I'll see what I can do. Um, so I'm going to go grab the tripod from the master bedroom and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I got the white hangers. Okay. So what we're going to do is first, we're going to cross our fingers that I have enough hangers for these shirts because I don't know if it's going to be enough. So everyone, please pause the video and comment some fingers crossed emojis down below. 
Um, we're gonna put those off to the side and hope that we have enough. But, all right, so we're going to hang these in rainbow order. Obviously, red comes first. And I am so excited to have these hung, like, before. Oh, wait, we're not gonna hang this one. This is a Christmas shirt. I'm just gonna put that in my regular closet. Um, that's not really, I don't know. I don't really consider that something that should be in this closet. I mean, yes, I'll wear it for Christmas videos, but it's not one of the basic ones. Oh, man, I should just get rid of these. Does anyone want this shirt? I think I have another one somewhere. Yep. Callie and I used these for a color wheel video we did. Hmm. Maybe we'll do another color wheel video one day. I don't know. I kind of want to get rid of them, but for now, I'm just going to put them off to the side. I don't know when we're ever going to wear them again. I should have two red shirts. So fun fact, you guys, for the color t-shirts that we wear for our challenges, um, for the longest time, I had two of every single one um, because when Callie and I started filming those videos, she was a little peanut, so I got adult smalls and then like youth smalls, but a lot of them have just gotten lost throughout time because, you know, sometimes we have like guest subscribers and sometimes I forget to ask for the shirts back and they'll accidentally take them home and it's easier for me to just buy a new one than to be like, hey, can I have that back? So. They kind of get lost. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. I have two orange shirts, because again, I would have one for me and one for Callie. Um, but now Callie and I wear the exact same size, which is crazy. This is a chick shirt for Easter. I don't really want to hang those ones. I might kind of fold them nicely in a pile. Like, I noticed they have a lot of holiday themed shirts in here. This is New Year's. This Glitter Queen one is New Year's. I'm just gonna put that off to the side. Okay, this is a plain yellow shirt. I have another plain yellow shirt. Where is it? Uh-oh, SpaghettiO. We have this neon one. Like I said, I lose these pretty easily. So this, oh my God, this could stop traffic. Do you guys see that? That's insanely bright. Like just for comparison purposes. That's crazy. By the way, if you are wondering where Callie is right now, she is in the master bedroom bathroom. Or is that just called the master bathroom? We'll just say the master bathroom. She's in the master bathroom and she is organizing my bath and body works and just all body care, makeup, stuff like that. Um, so we're gonna go check in on her in a minute, but I'm gonna put the rest of this in time lapse. but there's literally two hangers left and two solid colored t-shirts left. So I'm a happy girl. You guys could probably see next to me, I have everything color categorized. Oh, oh my God, I'm so happy that this worked. So excited. I'm gonna have to buy more hangers, obviously, but we had just enough, just enough for what we needed to do. Alrighty, um, so let me show you guys what this looks like. So they are all ready to be hung. I think I'm just gonna put them right here so you see them as soon as you walk in. Um, the shirts over here, I'll probably hang eventually, or maybe not, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna keep them neatly folded in the content closet. Um, these are shirts for like, let's say we're doing like a tie-dye versus glitter, or maybe this chick shirt would be good for an Easter video. Um, or we could be doing like neon versus uh, glitter. You get what I'm saying. All right, so let's hang up these t-shirts. Actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a fun little transition. So ready? In three seconds, these are gonna be hung right here. Ready? Three, two, one, ta-da! I am just so excited. Oh my God, I can't wait for all of it to be done. Oh my gosh, guys, we're filming a Karen video on Wednesday and I cannot wait. This bucket of Karen stuff just always puts a smile on my face. Her glasses, her slippers, her crossword puzzle book is even in here. It's just, I love Karen. Who doesn't love Karen, honestly? So let's go check on Callie's progress. Oh, Callie, yes. how are you doing? All right, so I told him I'd show what you were up to in here. Okay, so candles up here. Okay. Oh, nice by Susan. That's amazing. So guys, Bath and Body Works has changed the packaging of like their lotions, shower gels, pocket backs, everything throughout time. And so Callie organized them not only by bottle, 
but by season two. That looks so cool from a bird's eye view. So guys, I didn't even realize that Callie put the tree heads down here and they look so cool. Wow. Okay, so tree huts are down there and she is <laughs> currently working on kind of reorganizing this little section because we showed you we had extra fragrance mists. Um, and then I kind of just like clustered the candles together a little bit more so it looked a little bit more confined and less sporadic. What else do we need to do? I'm thinking, thinking, thinking. Oh, yes. So guys, I'm going to show you what this looks like right now. My makeup. So this is what I use. I was going to say this is what I use every day. Not exactly. I don't use every single one of these products every single day, but it's the ones that I use the most. So this is what it looks like now. So this is like a before look. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be doing anything with this cause it's just extra makeup and I don't know. It's organized enough, but yeah. So we're gonna tackle this. Um, the only other thing we have to do is we have to bring my fidgets upstairs. So I have to fold these shirts. And I don't know if I'm going to be combining this video with clips that we're going to be making in the future. Um, because, I mean, there's still so much that needs to be moved from my old house to my new house. So depending on how much footage I get from today, this might be another like moving montage, sort of like the one I posted before this. I don't know. I'm so excited to do like a closet tour with you guys. And what? Come and find you? Okay. Where could she be? Hmm. I'm feeling you're probably in here. This door is closed, so. Boom! <laughs> so guys, while I was organizing some stuff in the content closet, Callie organized my entire makeup drawer for me. Look how good it looks, you guys. She has foundations over here, then she did concealers, more concealers, bronzers, blushes, powders, mascaras, eyebrow and eyeliner stuff, primers, lipsticks, and eyeshadows. Wow, 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 wow organization queen so guys all of my fidget bins are currently outside um callie and i need to take them all the way up to the fourth floor which is gonna be a hike but this wednesday we are going to be transforming my house into a learning express store so these actually do all need to go up so yeah i don't know what little space we're gonna put them in probably the biggest one that biggest square space so all right let's get started okay guys so this is the area where we're going to have all the fidgets. <sighs> I'm winded once again. Um, but I brought my tripod up so we could put this in time lapse. The color wheel is also here. Um, but I need to see if maybe a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser will take off this writing. We read on this when we did the last to leave the ball pit video. These were all the consequences for whoever left the ball pit first. I'm so out of breath today. Goodness gracious, but all right, I'm gonna keep bringing up more of the fidget bins. Okay, so guys, we got all the fidgets up to the very top floor that we brought over. I thought that we had all of them, but we don't. There's still a lot more at my old house. Um, but I think you will not be retreating them today. Not today. Woo! I'm exhausted, and Callie's exhausted. However, we're going to put these drawers in, the, I call them the skeletons. <laughs> We're gonna put the drawers in the little skeletons. Um, does that make sense? The empty drawer slots, sorry. I have one brain cell left, so we were calling those the skeletons. Um, <laughs> but we're gonna put these away. The next day. Hello everybody, it is the next day and it's just me. Callie is not here with me right now, unfortunately. But I just got all of my Squishmallows over to my new house and all of my slimes and the remainder of my fidget collection. So I have a ton of stuff to put away and I wanted to do it with you guys. I was starting to just do it by myself. And then I was like, this just feels wrong. I need to be vlogging. So we are going to go upstairs to the tippy top floor. And you guys are going to help me put away my fidgets, my slimes, and my squishmallows. So let's go do it. All right, we're making our way upstairs. It's currently raining. And fun facts about me, you guys, I love the rain. Rainy days make me so happy. But alrighty, so this is what we are up against. I did do some stuff by myself off camera earlier, but I still have a ton of stuff to put away. 
By the way, I just bought this little spinny rack organizer because tomorrow I am filming a video with Hallie, Alana, and Callie where I build a real life learning express store. It's gonna be so much fun. I also have these little uh, price stickers and shopping baskets and a mini shopping cart. I cannot wait to film that video. But, all right, we are going to refocus our attention on doing this. So I'm gonna put all of these fidget drawers away. And then also I have some of these cardboard squishum displays with the mystery packets. I think this one, there's only like one left. So I think I'm still going to keep it out. Um, I have another one downstairs that I just bought from Five Below that I have to bring up as well. But also guys, look at how many bags of squishmallows I have. Whew, this is crazy. I dumped out one bag and that's what you see over here. But I plan to keep all the Squishmallows in this area right here. And by the way, um, as soon as I get my ball pit over here, it's going to go over in this section. One thing at a time though, let's put away all of these fidget drawers. <laughs> This is what the fidget area looks like of my new loft. And to say that I am obsessed is a major understatement. All the fidget bins literally fit so perfectly in this area of my house. And then also I have my boxes of Squisha mystery packs over here against the wall, as well as two mystery fidget boxes. We have the handy dandy color wheel. Guys, what color do I think it's gonna land on? I'm guessing green. Pause the video, comment below what you think. Ah! Red, okay. Also, I have to get this writing off. But yeah, so this is what it looks like. But now we are going to be moving on to Squishmallows. And ah, I am so excited to time lapse this and play it back. It's gonna be so satisfying. I'm gonna wanna jump in it when I'm done. I already know it, but we're gonna resist temptation. We don't want all of that hard work to be for nothing. So, all right, let's do it. <laughs> is even more satisfying than I originally thought it would be. Literally, I, oh my God, I'm obsessed. They look so cool. Like, I love how it goes from itty bitty bitty in the front to big in the back. Ham is buried. Remember Ham guys, the giant alligator? Yeah, he's buried somewhere in the back. But okay, so now my Squishmallows are successfully put away in their new home as well as my fidget toys. So that's all I have for you guys right now, but I'm sure that I will continue on with this vlog somewhere another day, cause again, this video is gonna be like a moving montage. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. Alrighty guys, so it is another day and we are going to be moving some more things into my new house today. And today's focus is fan, fan mail. mail. Yep, that wasn't even prompted. I love how we just like know. We just know what to say. So there's fan mail in the garage that we're going to take upstairs. Yeah, there's fan mail in the garage currently, and we'll show you guys. Um, but we're going to take that upstairs, and we're going to show you where the fan mail room is going to be. I think this is where it's going to be. Originally, I thought it was going to be another room, but we changed our minds. But yeah, this is all fan mail stuff. Um, we should probably set up the tripod to make this easier on us. Oh my God, this is all brand new fan mail. And, and guys, we picked up fan mail today at the post office. So I gotta get that out of my trunk. So we're going all the way to the third floor. This room is gonna be so full by the time we're done. Um, so bird room is over there. Hi, Lucky. She said hello. And this guys is going to be the future fan mail room. So. It is not gonna be this empty for much longer. Woo! I feel like we should probably actually put the fan mail maybe in this corner because when I film fan mail unboxings, I'm gonna want this nice window lighting. Originally, I was going to make the fan mail room this room, but I decided this is where Callie and I are gonna do like our intros instead. Really, really nice lighting and yeah, we're gonna be jazzing this room up way more. 
trust me. I guess I'm just gonna like dump this. This whole room is just gonna be filled with mail. Like it's just gonna be like a crazy explosion of mail. And we will stack up the boxes nice and neat eventually. But for now, let's open this thing and just do a little timber. It's going down. I'm yelling timber, you better move. You better dance. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. this immediately like immediately also my lip sets are in here um i might have a designated room for my lip balm collection i don't know here comes callie oh my god you got There's two box at the, the box at the top of the first part of the yes it's just gonna be full it's gonna be crazy like we're gonna line boxes up like all oh, around the perimeter of the room like here yeah yeah it's gonna be like everywhere. This whole room, we're just gonna find a creative way to like lay it out. Okay, yeah. We just need to, the only thing is we need to leave a little walkway to get into this closet. But you know what I mean? And we're gonna have to hang all of the, oh wait, I just thought of something, guys. Okay, so all the fan art that's hanging up in my fan mail wall, my old house. Should we hang that stuff up in this room or the filming room? Both. Hmm, I guess I we like could it. do both. What? What if we hung up? Oh, careful. <laughs> I'm so close. To that me. is loud, jeez. Like, we hang it on, like, these Ooh, walls. Oh, that would be cute. And then, like, it floods. Yeah. I like that. Ah, because it would be so cute to have it, like, in the background when we do our intros. I'm not sure, but that's, like, this stuff is fun. Callie said there was a box. Yep, right here. So, oh boy, if there's packages, you guys are gonna come for a little ride, ready? <laughs> Sorry guys, we're not there yet. Get back in there. Okay. Oh no. Okay, so I think this is like mostly all boxes. What? Three, two, one, timber! Okay, that's a lot. I have to get the fan mail if that's in the car because we don't want it to take up space. I will be back. Oh, I'm gonna miss summer. It's so nice and beautiful outside today. So I have to carry this box. And there's some fan mail. This fan mail is from Learning Express. This is all stuff that people left in the store. There's Karen's pet rock box. Oh my goodness, my car is so interesting. But I'm gonna take it upstairs and then... Callie and I decided that we're gonna go get Chick-fil-A for lunch because it's around 2 p.m. and we're starving right now. We filmed a Karen video before this. Um, so we're gonna grab lunch at Chick-fil-A and then we're going to go to my house and we're going to fill up my car with as much fan mail as humanly possible to the new fan mail room. So come along with us, you guys. H-O-T-T-O You gotta dump it? What? Oh, you gotta. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. So much mail. You guys are freaking amazing. We need to do another fan mail unboxing ASAP. Three, two, two one. Woo! <laughs> oh my god. It's heavy too. That is. Whoa, look at the. Wait, flip it around. That's the coolest fan mail package ever. Stop. Please open on YouTube with Callie. I love that. You should put that one like flat up against that wall right there. So anyway. Give me a box. Um, was that all that was in the garage? Yeah. It was? Okay. Well, it's not so bad. Oh, this looks fun. This is from the United Kingdom from Maya. Do you guys see your fan mail anywhere? Comment below. We're going to do another unboxing here soon. But Callie, I think I'm going to go clean out the car and put the seats down. Okay. okay? I'll still, I'll kind of like. Well, I'll put like letters that way and my is that way. Okay. Just so like it's easier to... To keep... To contain. Yeah. Okay. Well, I will be back and then we'll go to Chick-fil-A, okay? Yeah! All right, guys. So I cleared out the car and I put the seats down. Whew. I'm tired. I'm hot. I'm tired. I'm hungry. So I said this like 45,000 times, but we're actually going to go get some Chick-fil-A now. Hi, boys and girls. Right now, 
<laughs> right now we're at Chick-fil-A. I haven't seen a point that ever again. I, <laughs> I won't jump out the window. Hi, boys and <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Hi, ladies and germs. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Guys, don't take me seriously. We're, we're at Chick-fil-A and I'm gonna get a grilled chicken patty daddy and some fries. <laughs> Okay, never say that! Okay. I'm just, I'm just being funny. I'm not funny. What am I cringy? <laughs> um, I'm just a free spirit. Um, what are you getting? Tell them you're in four. Okay, order. so I'm getting so. chicken nuggies, French fries. <laughs> Can Ooh. I do the drink and the milkshake? My car needs maintenance. Um, what? Can I do the peach milkshake and then the lemonade Absolutely drink? not. No. <laughs> that is too expensive. You're gonna have to go get a part-time job. I'm just joking. She's kidding, guys. I'm kidding. She's kidding. Please kidding. don't take her seriously. And the peach milkshake because... Oh, mm. shoot. It's my turn. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous. I was like, I'm a little Pull nervous. up, Ohio vehicle. Chicken fries or that? Fries. Yeah. Why not both? Well, that's a good point. Okay. Um. <coughs> me, 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 me. Yes, it's Kayla. All right, what can I get for you? Uh, let's see, can I please do um, the eight count chicken nugget meal with fries? What's a drink? Um, there's like an iced tea lemonade thing. I forget what it's called. Uh, yeah, that one. Any sauces for you? Um, nice. Chick-fil-A sauce, please. Okay. Anything else for you? And then another meal with the uh, grilled chicken patty and just uh, lettuce and tomato on it. And fries, um, and then for that one, let's see. Um, I'll do a lemonade, please. You say lemonade? Yes, please. Okay. Any sauces with that one? Um, ketchup. All right. And then uh, two small peach milkshakes. Gotcha. Anything else for you? Do we want anything else? One second. Um, let me think. Do you want your mac and cheese? Um, and then one small cup of mac and cheese. Go. Oh. Sorry, what was that? Sorry, one small cup of mac and cheese. Gotcha. Is that all for you? Yes. Alright, so it's gonna be 3757. Thank you. I got Hannah done. Like, I got, <laughs> like, Hannah. Hannah Wanna Senna. No, like the Hannah looks. The Hannah, Hannah tattoos. No, you didn't. Yeah, I, I did. saw you do that with my crayon box this morning. Uh, no. Yeah, you did. I, I saw photos. you. Callie's, Callie's lying. I have a photo of me getting it done. She's kidding. I know. I'm in a little. Okay. She's yeah, going to see us happy. film it. We gotta yeah, put that down. I'm gonna have well, You weren't recording when she no. said that? Guys, the Chick fil A worker was so sweet. She looks at us and she goes, You guys are so pretty. And we're like, Thank you in unison. Oh, I wish we would have had that. What a nice girl. Okay, I'm gonna tell this girl that she's pretty because we gotta keep the niceness going. What if it's a boy? <laughs> You're really pretty, sir. I'm just gonna tell him. Stop. Are you actually? Would you actually do a boy? No. Unless he, you know. Never mind. I was um, just gonna. I'm gonna tell if it's a girl, cause that's nice. It, if it's a boy, say I like your shirt. No. It's gonna be a Chick Fil A shirt. If it's a boy, I just won't say anything. I'll say, do you want a sip of my water, Sunny? That's my water. Look at the license plate. It says, mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Don't oh, show it. Can't show it. Show it. A bird took poopy on my window. <laughs> Everyone's gonna think I'm like drunk in this. I swear I'm not. I'm just happy today. I'm I'm borrowing Callie's crusty shoes that are a size too big, and I'm trying to make them lighter so they don't flop off my tootsies. <laughs> okay. Um. So yeah, I hope it's a girl so I could be like. You're so pretty. Can you like secretly record? Because I want to hear her be like, thank you. Or what if she's like, thanks. Well, I know. And you know what I'll say if she says thank you? I'll say, my pleasure. Oh, it's an older lady. Oh, but what if she thinks, I don't want her to think I'm making fun of her. Not that she's ugly, but like she wouldn't be used to that. What should I say? Should I just not say anything? Do you know what I mean? Like if she yeah. sees two young girls being like, you're so pretty, she might think we're making fun of her. I don't want her to think that. No. Hi, yes. Yeah. I love your earrings, by the way. Your earrings are so pretty. Wow. Your earrings are so oh, pretty. Thank you. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> it was a whole hand for sure. Good, because we always need more. Oopsies. Oh, I'm spinning on milkshakes. 
We're on our way, oh, we're on our way, on our way to Chick-fil-A. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, so a little Chick-fil-A mukbang moment. I was gonna get those two, like chicken with my chicken, but I decided not to. Don't be a big back. <laughs> big back, big back, watch me. Big back, big back, big back. Okay, we're gonna eat and we'll update you guys when we're done. <laughs> minutes later all right you guys so we are now at my old house oh no did that get burnt out my star cam thing hopefully it just got unplugged by accident but uh clearly we're not gonna fit everything in one trip not even two or three or four or five or six or seven i feel like we can fit all the bubble meals and letters in one trip it's freaking wow i it's like more than i thought it was so we're gonna load up the car we don't have as much time as we thought we would you guys we're actually going to a fair tonight with alana and her family um, so we don't have too much time, um, but we're going to start loading stuff into the car and we're going to put it in time lapse. Oh guys, we're trying to fit this one last bag. It won't like, we can try. Please work, please work, please work. Good job. Fan mail is in the car. We're exhausted. We're gonna take it back to my new house now. All right, you guys, we just got back to my new house and we gotta run. We have to change because we have somewhere to be at five. Um, so we're not going to vlog us bringing the mail upstairs, but you guys, you're gonna see it eventually. Um, and all we're gonna do is bring and it upstairs. And there'll be more fan mail moving anyway. Exactly. So. There's more where that came from. So we'll probably be doing another moving vlog at some point. But we hope that you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, then please don't forget to give it a big giant thumbs up. And we will talk to you all in the next one. Bye. Bye. Mwah. Mwah.